Yo, Corsi's fans have the best names for Yemi. Each time they see him online and every time they have reason to drag him. I mean, these words come out phenomenal like they already prepared for. We know what they had to say and stuff like that. Hello, Biggies Baby fam. I'm very glad to have each and every one of you all here. I trust you all are doing very well. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification, notification bell. I welcome you all here. And to my returning viewers, you guys have been really, really amazing. Thank you for supporting your favorite person the way you do. Now, fam, let's dive in already. When we talk about Kosi Twala, we are talking about one of those ladies who really, you know, has paved the way for herself. I mean, enough of, you know, getting into the Big Brother Titans house and coming out very successfully. This young lady is top, currently at the top of, you know, the list because she has really, you know, made use of or rather leveraged on the popularity and fame and even money she got from the Big Brother Titans house. And she's topping the trends, I mean, weeks after barely like a week and a few days after leaving the Big Brother Titans house, I can tell you that Kosi is, you know, built for big things the international community is already taking notes has already taken notes of you know how much impact she has made on the lives of people of, of the fact that she has numerous followers and all of that however one thing that really stands out for her is you know how supportive her fans have been now very recently i'm sure you guys have been in hearing stuff about Kosi finally coming to nigeria fam it's not a it's not a pipe dream anymore this thing is real now, before now, we saw like a day after she left the Big Brother Titans house, she said stuff about not wanting to ever come to Nigeria off of, you know, the, the kind of hate and hostility she received and the messages her fan base camp director had been receiving and all of that. But it's obvious that, you know, Kosi's fans here in Nigeria have really done well to, you know, I think lay off all those, you know, drama and invite Kosi finally. However, it's obvious that Kosi's, you know, fear of coming to Nigeria at least off of the fact that, you know, she had stuff to do with Yemi whilst in the house and obviously did not work out and Yemi's fans have been coming very strongly for her and actually at some point they threatened her. However, now that the situation has been sorted out and Kosi is definitely coming to Nigeria, a lot of questions have been on the minds of her fans, you know. It's obvious that whilst in the house, Kosi was head over heels in love with Yemi. However, at some point, she had a thing, a thing to do with Sabang and all. But even while she stopped rolling with Sabang, and even while rolling with Sabang, she was always talking about Yemi and how attracted she was to him. But, you know, after leaving the house, we have seen that Kosi's fans have really spoken so lowly of Yemi. And they all have stuff to say about, you know, Kosi being the it girl right now being the international like acclaimed figure and you know Kosi not having time for a poor boy a pauper like Yemi and all of that and this you know brings to light the fact that you know once you don't win the Big Brother Titans show or big, once you don't win the, the main prize money I mean you may not necessarily you may be on the spotlight but you're not necessarily you know the, the topic you're not necessarily the main topic and it's it's no one's fault that you know Kosi has excelled the way she has however the fact that her fans have done this thing without you know being controlled without applying the brakes is just crazy fam to see these guys drag Yemi seamlessly effortlessly and you know without for once being called to other it's I feel this is very disturbing However, you know, Kosi coming to Nigeria, at some point, she w and she's doing her media tours, obviously, a lot of people are going to ask her about Yemi. And even more, I think it only makes sense that at some point they may get to meet each other. But her fans have said stuff about, you know, not, her not having reason to meet Yemi once while, while when she's in Nigeria. And I find this, this very interesting. I mean, you can't come to Nigeria and not meet Yemi, your former love interest. At least if you guys are not even in a relationship, you can to just be the hellos and highs will just be beautiful i feel you know the the main aim of being in the big brother titans house in the first place was unity was uniting everybody across board across different countries in africa so when she comes to nigeria i actually expect that you know she would have a thing or two to do with yemi i mean it could actually culminate into a serious relationship or something like that the situation she put those stuff from where they stopped <laughs> but whatever the case is her fans are having none of that and hmm I just want to know, do you guys really feel that Yemi would actually want to roll with Kosi? And even more, I'm talking about even more, do you feel that Kosi would want to have a thing to do with Yemi? Like, unlike what her fans have said. I wish you guys in the comment section because I feel Kosi is a very, you know, cool person. She's a chill person and, you know, you guys may not have, may not see her next move coming. I'm talking about her next move with Yemi. I mean, these guys are doing very well and as well, you know, could do very, could even do better if they collaborate to do business. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think she would just come to Nigeria, roll with those who seem to be smiling with her, roll with those who she is already very familiar with and all of that. Until our next clip, which will be coming out in a couple of minutes. Do well to learn to engage yourselves in this one and like this video. Peace out fam.